here we go and I think I'll draw it in for you as well because I don't usually draw do I much in so we'll draw this in so what we have here uh, we'll go to the this is the horizon line here the it's a couple of about three inches about six inches at top and three inches here about the third isn't it that so mm. now we, we, we'll just bring an area of land here and we'll put the, the river just coming across here like that maybe going along here this time so just similar to this one see that going across that coming there and then another layer of land there, there. so here's the next uh, layer of land here on here we'll have the little cottage now the cottage we want what it'll be a bit white you see the gable end what here and the chimney pot sticking up out of the gable end now we'll have it so that it's like lower it's not up like that high it's a low, low cottage they, they seem to do them, build them low and we'll have it a little bit quirky where it's not perfect like that and low again here and we'll shove that little cottage little out house on the end of it here. Uh, uh, you know, they build that on the end for, for the tattle to put in. Now we just have the windows are touching the the the, the gutter in there because they, when they when they're doing this, they don't they don't need to build across the top when they're doing the put in the windows and so they they, they leave that wood, with wood across there for the top of the window am I making sense with you? I've got a lot of the you, the, you're not to bother about what sizes the, the chimneys are but like some artists will tell you that the, if you have the, these, they always seem darker against the the sky of the lights of the sky. The chimneys always seem a darker colour. So that we've got to there, and then we'll put a, a, another field at the back, and a field across here, and this the the field at the front here pretty level like that now we're going to put just coming across this front here from here you'll have a few low trees like this see there a few low edges edges across that at back that field like that See here, bring that a bit lower now, so put some fencing in this one, just going across here, fencing there, we'll have a, the road to that little house, we'll have to come through this fence here, alongside of the river, and over there. Now we've got some the nice tree here. Now I don't want to be too bothered about how perfect you are. I want you to be nice and easy and enjoying it. This is that continuation there going over and back. You see like that. Now what we'll do, we'll put a low hill at the back in blue 
so it can go straight through there like that and come down like that to there just one I think this had two but see what I mean um, now here we have our road road there that's okay so we'll have to have our river here now we'll just stagger it like that now if you wanted to put a little bridge across it here like of wood or a small little bridge you could do stone whatever now you've got a, a bit of an expanse of land here at front but uh, you don't, you can put a few bits of trees here in front of the river and then just put a dark shadow coming across here and that's all we'll need <coughs> now we'll, what we can do without we'll bring our cloud down here from here coming down going smaller and smaller down here or maybe a little bit of a cloud there coming here the so there's a couple of clouds there now you've got that now we don't want to over complicate things with it so let's see what we can do right now we're going to start off with the with the sky when you, um, are you with me up to now we're not getting ahead of one another are we Now the, I'm just using any kind of a brush, that'll do. A nice soft brush, um, that's a bit big. Um, this is another brush I'll be using. Now that's, a, that's very strong nylon and a good point on it. Now there's another soft brush. That's a soft brush. Look at the softness of the top of that. Look at that. But that's sharp and that's pretty sharp. But this this one here will be nice for putting a cloud in. Now, if you like, what you can do is wet this in all over. But not too much, just up to here, this line here. Don't put too much water on. Just a nice dampish. Or if you do, if you want to do what I'm going to do is do it dry. Like put this cloud in first, quick. This quick, and then get your blue mixed at the same time and get your blue in here quickly. Okay. It doesn't matter if we go over things twice. You see. It'll look okay, so what we do really. So it's just a learning process and getting to grips with getting your colours right, isn't it? So we must do that. Now, colour for our sky. I know you may sometimes think, oh, that's going to be silly because of putting that colour in there. It's just wrong. But watch what happens with it. Now, you, I'll give you a choice of putting a cloud colour in of burnt sienna, raw umber, or raw sienna. Now, a more natural colour, if you're going to use burnt sienna, which will be a nice colour to use, but only very, very touch of it in your water for the clouds. But for an unusual colour, let's say you're looking here at uh, that is what they call raw umber. Over over here, over here we have burnt umber, and over here the we have raw umber. Burnt, which is the dark one, raw, which is the lighter one of the two browns. And then the lighter one still is the raw sienna, which is this yellowy cast. 
that's the lemon so I'm going to show you that I'm going to put my brush in water like that dip into that see how brown it is more water but watch when I put I'm just going to do that wet it and watch what happens when I do this now it's very weak now it's dry this paper so I'm letting it cool off a little bit now if you want you can use a thalo blue any colour of blue will be okay if you want to use cobalt that's another lovely colour and you can have any other colour with them now this is a this here what I'm going to just try is a thalo blue well look how blue that is well it's a little bit wild isn't it too bluey so if you want to cool your blue down you can put any of the other blues in or uh, Payne's Grey. Now this, look, this is Payne's Grey. Well, that's the blue coming off. See how, how dark blue it is. Now get your Payne's Grey in that one. Now I'm, I'm, I can't leave it any longer. So let me just carry on. Now I'm, I'm just using the back of the brush here. Well, there's not as much uh, colour in that. Can you see? Now dipping in again, in case it's gone a bit too thick, the paint with drying off on the palette. Now I've only just been wild about it, you know what I mean? Like I've took some of that off, you see? Now that same blue you just used, uh, it can be ultramarine if you want, uh, cobalt, this is like, like a, if that's your river there, see, where are we here, river, now dip, keep dip, dipping in your water if you see it's like that, just, I'm just touching it like that, a little bit at a time, can you see it, and if you're leaving a bit thick on with that soft brush, and with those white patches on thick thick and thin as it goes along it'll be fine so, so there it is see you've even got like stuff running down bits of stuff running down well you can if you want to it looks as though it's going wrong just take it like it so it won't run down here just do that this is about 45 degrees this now I'm, we're going to dry that off now. Now it's pretty light, can you see? Because you can take that sharp pointed stiff brush here, this nylon one, was really cheap. Now, but I'm going. We're going to do the roof of that first. Now I'm doing it uh, in burnt umber honestly there's your burnt umber there's burnt umber coming darker coming darker darker and with it being a stiff brush it's working it up off there easy put a bit more water to it see and now let's see how dark it looks putting it on now this is burnt umber which has a ready cast with it can you see See how it looks a little bit red and this here is the top of this little outhouse there. See a good point on it isn't it? Oh gone, gone a bit too far there, about there. Yeah we'll do that, we'll pull our chimneys on it with a bit darker after so now our, our next thing is our land so we'll start with our 
green colour, right? Now the green is I've always nearly told you. You can either use you can use your your, your uh, an easy way is, is to put a little bit of cadmium yellow, thirty. Now, whichever blue you use, try and stick to it. We'll use ultramarine with it. See that colour? Now, if I'd started with lemon and ultramarine, can you see that? I just carried on with that. But if you want to store it's all blending in the same greeny colour, well, we'll use our cobalt, um, our cad yellow, our, now we'll use it in our ultramarine with it, and then we want to use some raw sienna, that's that yellowy colour, see. And I've shown you before what happens. Can you see it's giving us a sage green? But even if you, you use burnt umber into it, any brown, there's your ultramarine in it. Any colour of a brown, but that next time you won't mix it, you'll be able to mix the dead, really same colour again. So, say so we'll start there in that. Remember that there is uh, the bl a blue hill in the background over there. So there's our hill of the land there. That's our land. Now we put some dark colour, keep on with it. We'll put some here. Watch here. Now this is a field of green. Right, another ear. Remember, we see fields of green. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. Now we can even mix it and more. But add a little extra ultramarine in it and a little extra raw sienna and it will give us a, a darker green but Put enough water in it so it doesn't look too bad. But let's see. This green is actually just a little bit darker. See that's it there. Can you see it? Now you see I'm going across like that quickly. I'm not running it down. I don't run it down. I don't run it down. I, I I like to get it nice and clean like that. Bit by bit, putting more with it as I go down. Okay, if you were doing a sky, you'd be probably making it lighter as you come to the bottom. There, you know. So there you see now you're okay there. With that little bit there, I'll take it off. And then get the dryer and dry that off. Now don't worry about your colours at this stage because as soon as you start putting your darks in everything will change, these will come lighter and that we want to go darker so we'll see okay now we'll just put that middle one in that piece of land there the middle green here. Now I know it doesn't look as though much happening, but don't worry, you'll see what I mean. You'll think, oh, it's all wrong, but you must also have patience. Now that though, that's a little path. 
So that little path, you've got your raw umber again, that's that brownie cast. There, raw umber. See, raw umber. Bit of water to it, because, because you can always add it. And we'll have it just in, around the front of the house. Like that, like that, coming round here. And coming down here as a path. So that's just about right for us. Now we'll mix some, watch this blue, we're going to put it back with this easy, this. Now this blue we're putting up back, we'll, we'll use uh, Ultramarine, Ultramarine, right, got it. A little bit of Alizarine, can you see, the purple cast, put more blue like that. Now we'll just put more water to it. Now let's see, try it first of all. See you can just try a piece of it. Like that. So you know it's going to be all right. Now try and get it this depth of colour. Now what you can do is touch a bit of blue after in places if you were doing a big mountain and it would make it uh, look as though you've got uh, shading on it like uh, the sun patches and that on shades coming across. Now that's uh, I've not done it too hard there have I? So you can leave that now like that. Now when that's dry we'll put a few little things on the First of all, excuse me, <coughs> sorry, um, first, first thing we'll do is right at the back of the ground there we'll get some umber, burnt umber, and put a little bit of ultramarine blue to it of that sky you've just been using, and we can put some trees along the now don't, see, don't put them like that. You don't need to put them as, like, as though they're square like that in places. There's a, a bunch, a bunch together. There. In fact, Mr. Weston always did square top trees. It's an effective way of doing that. Yeah, putting square drop trees. Maybe so. Like that, can you see? I don't, I think probably the eye sees it different when it's a, a good way of trees. They usually look in clumps, don't they? Because they go nearer together when they're farther away. She, well, so that might be that might be hundreds of yards so far away. You don't know. Right, so that's you, you, you put distant trees in putting that just there along that ridge. You can see how I'm, we're pulling it all together now. Now you've got this next line of trees which is on level 
with the bottom of your house and more burnt umber but you can always use a little bit of raw sienna don't go into lemon yellow uh, yellows just yet keep it on a browny cast and, and add a little bit of ultramarine if you like but make it darker still as you're coming along adding a little bit more ultramarine to your burnt umber so like you'll get this kind of a colour now not quite so dark, dark like that but I'm trying to show you in a minute get some water in there then it will not be as dark as that but it doesn't matter you can even see you put it in with the dark there to make it more natural anyway because it's the bottom of the trees is dark aren't they you do that while you're first doing it so there we are we're keeping nicely straight on this line here there just that line there from here and it will just be about that size with your fence like that if you were there it would be nice of seeing it and doing it wouldn't it we're still on level we're on that line you have to have little bit of a tree there and that now this is burnt umber burnt umber Uh, this is a bit, a bit weaker, not full strength, but not far off. Just like that. Now don't forget your line, your separation line. Now are your, your eyes now looking at it different, the picture? No, just keep it there. This is a nice little brush for this. get this brown again I will just put a little bit of a window in one two three one other three one I'm not getting straight to the lines that we're on two three I'm just where shall we have our door to go in here I mean, you can go into detail if you want. There we are. Now just here, let's just put some bits of dirt under there. Now 
know we could put a, like a nice little layer there now you can leave that up, up all all field if you want and then it's not too crowded we'll do that we'll leave it as a full field we'll not put any we'll put a shade across that's all and a shade here then we'll just put a few we we'll pull a tree there and a tree there. We'll not pull as much in as uh, we'll not pull that field in there and that field in there. We're have separated it into two fields then there. See, I'll separate it. But we'll leave it. We'll rub that off after, and we'll make it two fields. Now here, well, let's get some. Uh, we'll get some burnt um umber. This time I'm going to put some yellow, card yellow with it, and I'm going to put some uh, ultramarine. Look how dark that is. Now let's see, see what it looks like when it's so dark. Oh, I don't think there's it. I'm touching it. Oh, go on. So we'll start with. See, it doesn't look that dark now, does it? So I'll get some burnt umber and just tickle, tickle it in here and there. A bit of water with it. It's the driest brush I'm using. I'm not using a wet brush. I'm going to darken it a bit there. Now, if you like, you can put some black in, you know. Just put this. There we are, just darken it here and there. And that was beautiful. So let's put some uh, bits of dirt under there. Now it's looking like a, a, a painting already, isn't it? Just going to touch side of brush on this bit. Now what we'll do now is try and get that same colour of green we have beginning and go over that again. So 
goes our green, that green, that was that level, uh, yellow, wasn't it? Little bit of uh, ultramarine, yeah, and then some of that raw sienna. I'll have mixed a bit more than that. Now I think this is just, I'll just wet it, just see if it's, I'll test it on that field there, to see if it's uh, looking like colour, ah yeah. That's just about the right for a shade. Just gives that field a little bit more liveliness. Same at the front here. Now, it, in tip on it, you just need to get a little bit. Can you see it's the same colour, but when it goes on top, it, it's going to be darker because it's it's putting it on itself two coats ah, that's it isn't it a little bit over there we go now that's just nice now watch when we put these uh, the rest in You'll see just what a difference it makes. Now we're going to put some lining in a bit, we'll see if we can get some of that dried out. Oh yeah, not too bad. Yeah, can you see it's moving it? That line across there. There, the, the little hut on that, let them lines across there. For that field, the other field we've not put in. Little is more, they say, don't they? Now, there we are, nicely. Now we take that through together nicely so you should be able to get it somewhere near to it and then we'll be so happy. Now this side of the house that's the lighting in it so we'll just put this here a little touch different with a little bit of raw sienna that's raw sienna's you know that yellowy colour, yeah, that, that. And just a little, not too much, just put it over that. Wait a minute, drag it over. Can you see I put it, you can see it, can't you? There. And it'll be here as well, we'll put it there. Because it's in the shade. Now then. That's very nice. You could put a few, if you want to put some fence in here, 
you can put some lines across but if you don't want to do too much to it leave it like that we'll dry that yellow we've just put on there now i see if that would work rather than having it blue A line under there. Now we'll get some black now. So we can put some dark here and there. Put them that a little bit lower now. These are only lines. Only putting bits of lines in there. Looks a bit of dark there, see. See a dirt pushes this lighter. It, every time you put a little bit of dark on against light, it makes it go lighter. You can put. A, Now hasn't it dried nice that colour against that light there? Well yeah, I'm not <laughs> I don't know whether you want to follow me or not really. I mean, I'd love to see it. I mean what would I say if I see him doing them like this? I'd be pleased. I'd say, oh I'm glad you're following me and making it like trying to do a nice because once you get used to it you'll be able to do it without thinking now what I'm going to do now is get some Van Dyke um, would you believe I'm going to darken this roof you think no don't, do, don't have a darkened roof it won't matter, it won't but but what it will do, you'll see I'm making everything look light 
against it. That gable end here of this cottage is going to start looking really white just because I'm putting this here. So don't be frightened of putting dark colour on the roof like that. I mean, there's no end to it, what you can do with it, that, you know. Well, I hope you like that one. I hope I'm, I'm keeping you happy with these. If you don't like them, just tell me you don't want these style. And we'll see about something else type of painting. See how it fits just just right. If I put tape around the, when I come to put this over I don't know whether it's going to be perfect. There we are. That's the lassie. Thanks for being with me. I love you all and I hope you're all well and happy.